Alright then gang, so now we have all of our routes updated, next up I want to look at how we can perform redirect for certain routes and also how we can programmatically redirect users as well because the way we do both of these things in version 6 has changed. So first of all, say we have a new route which I've already created right here with a path of forward slash redirect. And by the way, this can be any path whatsoever, it doesn't have to be forward slash redirect. But imagine when a user visits this route, I want to redirect them to another page like to forward slash about or something. Now, the way I do that in version 5 is by using the redirect component. So I just create a redirect component like so, and then add on a to prop to say where I want to redirect to. So in this case, to forward slash about maybe. And then I'd also need to import the redirect component from React Router at the top of the page. But now, in version 6, this redirect component does not exist. And instead, we have to use a new component called the navigate component. So let me replace redirect right here with navigate instead. And we still keep the two prop to say where we're redirecting or navigating to. And then that's pretty much it. And this will mean that when a user visits forward slash redirect, this path right here, then it will navigate them or redirect them to forward slash about instead. I do also need to import the navigate component at the top of the page from React Router as well. So make sure you do that. Otherwise, it will not work. So now if I go to forward slash redirect and press enter, it should redirect us or navigate us to the about page. So let's press enter and we can see it changes the path up here to forward slash about and we see the about page. Awesome. Now we could also create conditional redirects as well based on certain criteria. For example, you might have a website with an authentication system where a user can be logged in or out. Now you might want to redirect users who are logged out away from protected pages. So you could check that status and then dependent on whether a user is logged in or out, you can redirect them to a different page like a login form, okay? Another example would be maybe an e-commerce website where we have a load of products. If a user tries to go to forward slash checkout or whatever the path is, to the checkout if there's no products in their shopping cart then you can redirect them to some kind of product page or something like that so let's do a very simple example based on that kind of checkout uh, example i just described but very simplified so first of all what i'm going to do is create a bit of state at the top of this root app component and to do that we'll be using use states so i'm going to call this bit of state cart is empty like so and we don't need the function to update it because we're not going to do that but we set it equal to use state and press enter on that to import it right here i'm just going to cut it from there and paste it at the top because these are the page imports right here okay so the initial value of this is going to be true so we're saying the cart the shopping cart is empty so they don't have any products inside it now down at the bottom we could create our route so let me do that create a new route tag and then the path to this is going to be forward slash checkout like so now we need our element prop as well and in fact what i'm going to do is place these on separate lines so we can see them more clearly like so so on the second line i'm going to do our element prop and we set that equal to some jsx right now this time we want to show one of two different things we want to either navigate the user back to the products page so forward slash products if cart is empty is true if they don't have any products in the cart however if it's not true then we'll show them some jsx template for the checkout instead all right now that might be a separate component but i'm not going to create a new component instead we'll just inline some jsx right here so to do this we're going to use a ternary so we put the thing that we want to evaluate on the left, which is the cart is empty piece of state. And then we do a question mark. Then it's going to evaluate this. If it's true, then we're going to output the, or rather we're going to navigate them to a different page because if cart is empty, then we don't want them to see the checkout page. So if it's true, then we're going to navigate to somewhere and that's going to be to forward slash products. All right. Now, if it's false, then whatever is on oops let me just navigate to products like that now okay so if this is false then whatever is on the right of the column right here in a ternary is gonna fire instead so 
In that case, we want to do a simple template. So a paragraph tag, and we'll just say checkout. So now what we're doing is saying, look, if this is true, then we want to navigate to forward slash products. However, if it's false, then we'll show the checkout. So let me save this and test it out. All right, so now if we go to forward slash checkout and press enter, it should redirect us to products because that cart is empty value is true. So now what I'm going to do is change that value to false so that instead it doesn't redirect us or navigate us to product and we show this checkout bit of template right here. So let's save that. And now if I go to forward slash checkout like so, now we can see the checkout template instead. So that's how we can also conditionally redirect users. Okay, so that's the navigate component, new to version six, which kind of replaces the redirect component. Now, the next thing I wanna show you how to do is how to programmatically redirect a user. Now, in version five, if I just go to the about component, we used the use history hook to do that. So we imported that from React Router DOM, and we said history is equal to use history. And then if we wanted to redirect a user after a user did something, for example, after they clicked on a button that I've created down here, fire a function we take that history that we grabbed from the used history hook and then we'd use a method called push on it and we push them to a new route now in version 6 we don't use this use history hook anymore so let me get rid of that up here as well and here now instead we use the use navigate hook which is pretty similar so I'd say use navigate up here and import that and then inside the function I could say const navigate is equal to use navigate like so and then we can use this navigate function which this returns to navigate a user to different places different pages so i'm going to copy that and paste it down here so that when a user clicks on a button we invoke the navigate function and all we have to do is pass in a route or a path to where we want to navigate the user so i could say to forward slash product for example and now when a user clicks on this button it's going to navigate the user or redirect them to that path forward slash products so i'm on the about page right now and we can see that new button at the bottom and so when i click on this fingers crossed it should redirect us to the products page using that use navigate hook so let's try this click on this and voila it works awesome so there we go, my friends. That's how we use the navigate component and also the use navigate hook to programmatically redirect users. Next up, we're gonna take a look at nested routes.